One candidate has dominated the media coverage and the polls this election cycle. I visited two of Donald J. Trump's rallies to learn more about the man and his supporters. Take a look. I'm here in Muscatine, Iowa, where Donald Trump is ready to speak at a high school gym. A very bold move for Trump, because his supporters usually avoid both education and physical fitness. <laughs> Make America great, ladies and babies. We are witnessing history here, folks. Specifically, Germany, 1934. That's what we need. We need change in the White House. We don't need some rich asshole telling us what to do. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong rally. We do need some rich asshole telling us what to do. You believe he's full-on conservative now? Yes. No gun control. None of that crap. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I'm from New York. Trump used to be a bigger Democratic supporter than Michael Moore's bronze. Do <laughs> <laughs> these little girls, we're at home right now. Hello, little girls! <laughs> Why aren't you here? Donald's yeah. looking for his next wife. <laughs> Ethanol's a big issue. Uh-huh. Well, what if, I mean, shouldn't farmers support Bernie Sanders because he believes in turning all food into gas? <laughs> you see, true, because true. he's yeah. an old Jewish man <laughs> who farts a great deal. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. She would be a disaster for America. <laughs> she would be. What, what do you fear more, Hillary Clinton as president or having to put your beard under a black light? <laughs> so who do you think would be the most appropriate running mate for uh, Trump? Sarah Palin, Mitt Romney, or anyone wearing an I'm with stupid t-shirt? Uh, I'd probably say Sarah Palin. Yeah, Sarah really? Palin. She's a wacko. She gets, oh, the, no. she gets the girls. She gets the girls? Yes, what? the woman's rights. You think? <laughs> yeah. You really want Donald Trump to be president? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let me ask you something. When you watched the movie Philadelphia, did you cheer for the AIDS? So people say that Trump's uh, supporters are racist just because they want immigration changed. Is that fair? Which people say that? Oh, uh, well, you know, people like me. <laughs> Come on, who's kidding who? No, You're uncomfortable with anybody darker than Macklemore. <laughs> How about you guys? You're guys. in favor of the wall? You uh, want to build a wall? Absolutely. I think maybe they should build a wall between you and Denny's. <laughs> You're more tolerant of foreigners in general. It's just you want them to come in the right way. Exactly. That's yes. very wise. Yes. See, you, it's obviously from your world yeah. travels. Yes. Who's kidding who? <laughs> the, the last time your feet left American soil was when you did a jumping jack in the fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Donald is a brilliant man. You know, he's also a very successful uh, author. Well, he is an author. He's written, right. Well, he's written 15 books. <laughs> 15 books. They all start on chapter 11. <laughs> because he's failed many times. What do you think Trump needs to do to actually make America great again? To make our Second Amendment, uh, you know, more... Uh, more small town people, people small that really matter. People make it, make it actually work. Like this. You know what? I'm going to give you a three day waiting period to figure out your answer. When I went on to this journey, June 16th, down the escalator, remember the famous escalator ride? And the receptivity has been incredible. The polls have been. Receptivity, I, mean, I learned like a new word. <laughs> When people are shooting their friends in California, when they're shooting their friends... Right over there, Donald. Take it outside, kids. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Not with that message. I got signs to sell on my own. Oh, yes. All the swag you could need. Remember Ben Carson? He has Jesus in his house with himself. Trump goes one better, folks. It's Donald Trump and Donald Trump. Now, what's your favorite amendment? Number two, baby. We're number two. We're number two. Look down here, folks. One more poster. There's no reason not to just be upfront about it, right? It's a Make America Great Again hat. I'm pushing my merchandise. America! Will you keep it? I'll keep keep it. it. Tell him where you got it from me. All right. All right. Go ahead, guy. Have a great time. 
There you go. Let me just see the back, make sure it's fitting nicely. Perfect. All right, you go get them. Step right up, folks. We need your help sending illegals back for as little as 50 cents a day. You can choose a Mexican family from our website and send them back. For $50, postcard updates from your deported family. For $100, you'll never hear from them again. I have no choice but to tell you, you're fired. Oh, dear God. This is our next president. Uh-oh. Let's f*** him in the ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keep talking, Donald. Always enjoy what you're doing. Oh, I'm enjoying this very much. I have no choice but to tell you, I don't blame you for firing me. I would say this is grounds for firing me. I've made some mistakes in my time. <laughs> you are a bad boss. You should fire yourself, Donald. That was a tough one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come on over for the show after the rally. This place is jumping. It's Donald Trumpin'. My heart is pumping. From eating dumplings, this country's slumping, but Trump is stumping. His fans are bluffing, they're kind of for his gumping. 